Hello, my friends. So real quick, let's talk about how we treat white belts. All right. How important it is to treat white belts with kindness and to help them and to teach them. Nowadays, you see so many memes poking fun at white belts. You see so many statuses poking fun at white belts. Do you forget how hard it was to walk through the door as a white belt? Do you forget? It's funny. Because it seems to me that as soon as people overcome an obstacle, they think they're better than that obstacle. You're not better than it. All right? We need our white belts. If we don't have our white belts, we don't grow. Who's we? We is the jiu-jitsu community as a whole. If we don't grow, we don't touch any more lives, all right? Essentially, if we don't grow, we die, all right? If you don't treat white belts kind and you don't give them room to mess up and you don't, you don't understand that they're going to mess up, they're going to leave the academy. When they leave the academy, they're going to tell all their friends why they should not train, okay? Instead, if you treat them kind, if you show them a home in the academy, they're going to tell all their friends why they should train. Remember this. You walk through the door as a white belt, okay? You walk through the door as a white belt. You trained a little bit too spazzy. You trained a little bit too rough. You trained a little bit too much strength, all right? Maybe you pulled on t-shirts in no gi class. I know I did. I didn't know any better. I was a good kid. I just didn't know any better until someone taught me, all right? Maybe they forget to wash their gi. Maybe they forget that. Tell them. Teach them. Help them. All right? Were you not that white belt? Were you, were you a perfect white belt who walked through the door? Are you perfect now? Do you make no mistakes? Are you above making mistakes now? Huh? Were you above making mistakes as a white belt? Come on. It's crazy to me. It's tragic to lose a white belt because the white belt doesn't feel comfortable is a tragedy. Do you understand that? This might be their last stop to save their life. Jiu-Jitsu might be the only thing to save them. If they leave because they're not treated the right way, that's tragic. I'm sitting here saying jiu-jitsu is for everyone. We're all saying jiu-jitsu is for everyone. We all promote jiu-jitsu. We all talk so great about jiu-jitsu. Prove it. Prove it when the white belt walks through the door. So guess what? The owner of your academy, they want you to treat the white belt kind because they need that white belt. All right? We all need that white belt. So white belts, if you're listening to this, listen, the basic class is for you to make all the mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to. You're not going to be perfect. You're going to make a ton of mistakes. You're going to go home sometimes. You're not going to understand anything. Anything worthwhile takes sacrifice and takes time. You understand? Be easy. Have patience. Don't worry. Everything's okay. It's going to get better. It's going to get easier. All right? Take care of each other. All right? Help your academy to grow. Help jujitsu to grow. We need it to grow. The jujitsu community needs to get bigger, right? Because nowadays, man, jujitsu is one of the only things that's going right, okay? So we need to pull in as many people as we possibly can. All right, my friends, enjoy your day. Treat everybody as kind as you can. Last thing, don't confuse a person who is a jerk with white belt mistakes, okay? So after you explain things to the white belt, how they should be done, all right, and, and you show them the way, if they continue to ignore you and ignore your advice, perhaps there's something personally wrong with that person. Then a different approach could be taken, all right? Whatever that may be is up to you. I, I, I don't know. I don't have that problem in my academy, all right? Uh, good luck to you guys, and uh, let's grow jiu-jitsu, my friends. Have a great day.